hey guys welcome back um in this video we will be doing the updating part okay so we will be updating the uh, data into the database that is image crud we are doing okay so i'll show you the output so guys till now we have done till here okay so in adding of data okay so we are adding this data and adding the image and then fetching on this page right so now we will be doing with the edit option okay so when i click on edit i should edit this images okay so let's get started with that so guys um first i am going to open that f uh, form which for the table thing so where is my employee form okay so this is my employee form here you have to create one variable that is th okay so this will be the table head and in this i'm going to give name as edit okay so name is edit and now let's create one more okay so th so let's give um we'll create a link okay so that uh, we'll edit button okay so edit done now edit is um it will display okay so i will show you the output now let's go reload the page so you are getting this edit option okay so when i click on this edit it should go to one form and display all the contents okay so let me design this edit button now um i'm using bootstrap class so i have given the link on top btn btn ccs success okay so let's reload okay so we are getting in green color so if i click this edit button it should go and edit the data okay of this image and this data so for that let's code first step mm, you have to give your tag okay the path so i i will give name it as edit image okay edit image slash by its id okay so inside this id so i'll put the id so i am retrieving this id is by for each loop right i am retrieving data so i'll copy this id control c okay so i have given ss so let's copy this copy and paste okay so we have copied now control c and now our button is ready okay so when i click on this button edit button it should show the id 1 id 2 id t according to our editing part so let's view the output let's reload once so it's reloading it is telling undefined variable employees where it is okay this is it's a sm simple mistake okay i have given name this so yes and now if i click edit so i should get one id okay id 1 id 2 id 3 so let me click on one you are getting the id 1 okay right so for that now let's code with code it with so you have created a route okay let me give some space so this edit image with the id okay i will take this route copy this and go to your routes inside routes web.php create one route okay so let's create a route route dot i am going to get those data and display in one form okay so let's here you have to paste that form okay i mean url so this url will be like id that's it okay so now this will when you click this edit button it goes to this url with the id and it goes to web.php here with the id and it goes to the controller called employee controller i have created one controller named employee okay the employee controller at um, edit i will give fine so at edit so let's go to the employee controller 
app http controller employee controller so inside that we have to create one function called edit because we have given that this edit one okay so let's copy that and create function for the edit so public function 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 called edit okay so now we have to code inside this of that uh, variable okay so let's create a variable called employees okay so I'll create employees is equal to mm, employee model okay so I'm using one model with find right find by ID I'm going to find it when you're using find or any request and all you have to paste it at top okay so let's paste that so after finding return or it you are in return view okay review where you are going to view that um we'll create one form called employee um update form okay so employee update form and the variable you have created that is employee right so let's copy that and paste over here with the function with function dollar employee inside this you have to type employee is okay done so I'm copying this actually and pasting over here done right so a function is set so this is my employee model where I'm fetching the table and its content and finding by its ID so if you're using model make sure you're using at the top and this model is inside your app folder so I'll show you it is over here okay so it is calling the folder and the contents so so it is calling over here and then it is using okay and displaying into one employee form so let's display the content first into this employee update form okay so for that I have already created the form and kept over inside the resource folder let's go to resource views employee update form okay so see here employee update form I have created it as simple so now in this I have used a bootstrap link to design the purpose so this is our form where I have designed okay to fetch that um, we were on this controller right so we are going to find by its ID and fetch into the employee update form okay so for that fetching um, let me remove all this so there should be no confusion for you so yes okay so I have done a simple form okay so this is a simple form as simple form it is so guys now when you you have created the employee variables right so I'm taking this copy in this variable and pushing this uh, returning and viewing into the employee form with that variable okay so this employee form contain that variable to display the output so inside form action is there method post enc type okay and now in this input I have given hidden for the ID purpose and displaying the employee value okay so this over here you can paste it employees okay so employee it can double so employees employee name employee email employee post employee image okay so you can store the value like this and then you can give that I'm um, input type file make sure your input type file if you are uploading this image you have to use enc type multi-part form data okay so now we, uh, now our main option is that to view this uh, detail into this form not to update now so we are editing so let's get back to the chrome reload the page and let's view the form so I'm going to click on edit button the data should come okay so the the data is coming and the image also is coming over here but it's not showing because the bootstrap file this is design so now if I click on update button so if I change this web, web developer with 
web developer in laravel if i give and change the image so i'll take this pc image and if i give update it should get updated but we didn't give the code for that okay so let's get back to the form so this was our form right for the update form so inside this when you click on submit button it will go to the you form action so i'm going to create that update update image with its id okay so that id is nothing but your employee controller which has the id okay so this when you are editing the data so let's copy that so see here this id when you are viewing it okay so when you are click let me tell you when you are clicking this edit button right oops oh we are coding that so it's showing error so when you click this edit button it should go to the form and display the content from there you have to update okay so when i click on this so when i click on this edit button it goes to this url to the controller i mean web.php it it gets the route to the employee controller at edit so let's go to employee controller at edit and from here edit it will tell that i am calling the, i am calling this employee data into this variable and returning the value into the employee update form so employee update form and i have designed that form and i have given that input where i am displaying that form okay so now what we are doing is that we are going to now update okay when i click on submit update with data so it should update it so let's give that url so i'm going to copy this variable copy and paste on that right so paste it oops so paste by its id okay so now this data will go update by its id with the so as you know laravel contains a security token so let's um, give the security token for the laravel that is scrf field and when you are updating the data laravel uses a um, put method or a patch method okay so let's give method field that is put okay simple so these two are more important okay these two things so now let's um if you are using image please make sure you have this so now let's go to the route and paste this one so copy this and go to routes i'll show you so inside routes web.php click here and create a route r o u t e route that is you are going to update right so you are going to update with put function okay so i am going to use put method and paste the url so paste your url over here and you are going to update by its id right so we cannot use double curly we have to use single curly braces and with the id and when you are posting it it goes to some controller and code the part so let's code it that employee controller at Mm, we'll give update function okay so let's create at the employee controller one fu uh, one function for update okay employee controller let's create one function public function f u n c t i o n function with the update okay done so now um we have to code dollar employee i am going to give a variable employees is equal to um what employee name okay so employee model so this is my employee model find by its id okay so dollar id and update the data okay so now what we have to do is that when you are using id so you have to specify that okay inside your function so specify it and now let's create the variable for for our inputs so employee so now 
I have already done the coding part because it takes more time to code now. So I have done. I am going to paste that. So let me paste it. Control V. Okay. So when you are using this, so this is the simple code. Okay. By Eloquent model, we are using this and employees where name, field, email, post, and image. Okay. So these are the images, and it will save, and it will save by the detail. Okay. So now what we are we are using request to call that input field so make sure that you are calling the request request with the dollar and give one more comma and mention the id and now you are giving the variable called employees so i'm declaring those variables over here with function and redirecting okay so after saving this input fields okay so these are the four input fields in name email post and image okay so this will save it so guys if you don't understand this please how to insert the image there i have explained this okay so this has has file the image and created a variable called file where i am requesting the file input okay so this input i'll show you where it is over here okay so this file type i am going to take that into my controller named call with the name image okay and that i am calling with the get client original extension okay and this will call this file inside that and extension then i am going to save it okay into one folder okay so into uploads folder it will go and save it so for that and uh, it will be saved into the database by this save function right so now let's update and check it so let's view the output so this is our employee page i'm going to reload and let's see okay so these are some images of college so i'm going to change that image so let me give as web developer in laravel and let's choose one image so i'm going to take this computer lab image and update so let's update it and let's see the output okay boom so you are getting the output see here guys so you are getting the image that is updated okay this is a computer lab image and see here. see these are the students so i'm going to change the student into some other thing okay so let's change the image and let's see i'll put some faculty image so let's click on that open and update so it will update it okay so guys in this video you have learned how to edit the data and update into the database okay so guys uh, please subscribe my channel uh, thank you for watching this video and please subscribe my channel like the video share the video and um, thank you once again guys